Hello, in this video I am going to talk about a new feature that's been added to the Arduino's serial monitor in the Arduino IDE version 1.8.8 actually it was added earlier than that but it wasn't stable until now and this feature is the show timestamp feature this little program prints alternating tick and talk strings to the serial monitor and uh, you can see it here and here in the bottom left of the serial monitor you have this show timestamp checkbox and if you check that you see the time at which the PC got the string from the Arduino. Now you'll notice two things. First, um, I'm working very late at night. This is uh, 3 a.m., 39 minutes, 44 seconds, and 574 uh, milliseconds. Second thing, it's important to know that these numbers, these uh, timestamp strings, do not come from the Arduino itself, they come from the PC, from the from this software of the IDE and since the operating system here, in this case Windows 10, is not a real-time system it's not very particular about being accurate with this timing uh, with this timing, it, it uh, checks the, um, the COM port input whenever it has the time to do that so we can see, let me stop the scrolling and you see here, the delay between uh, strings should be 1000 milliseconds plus whatever time it takes to print a single string they're also the same length so uh, it's really negligible so we should expect something like 1001, 1002 the Arduino of course is quite accurate uh, with this timing but here we can see that it's not 1000 or similar actually here it looks like less, less, less or uh, one millisecond more, then about uh, 27 milliseconds more so it's um, it's not accurate and uh, there's a jitter of a uh, couple of tens of milliseconds here and you can't really trust that uh, at a high resolution now another demo of this I can show you by um, printing the, str the strings very fast we'll see the timestamps of these strings you see that we have here one, two, three, four, five, six strings which arrive apparently the same millisecond and then one, two, three, four, five strings that uh, come uh, almost 40 milliseconds later and of course this can't be right this is just an art artifact of the way the operating system works so again you can't trust this to the um, millisecond level but that's uh, still good enough for, for reference, for um, debugging our code or for seeing um, rare events now, um, what causes the timestamp to appear? of course, except uh, clicking this uh, checkbox uh, the thing that causes uh, a new um, timestamp to appear is actually the, um, the ASCII character number 10 which is a control character, it doesn't have a graphic representation uh, this is the line feed character it is sent automatically whenever a print line command is uh, issued and we can also um, we can also do that explicitly by writing a uh, serial dot uh, write command with the explicit value of 10 this is a raw writing of the uh, character to the to the stream to the serial and whenever it encounters a new uh, whenever the serial monitor encounters a new character which was preceded by this character it, uh, it prints a new um, timestamp so we have here just plain timestamps with no uh, no actual content because I print this uh, character over and over again so again you can either if you want a new timestamp you can either um, write this explicitly run this or uh, rely on the implicit printing of the same uh, character by the print line command um, now let's say I have a, a program that gives me uh, more random um, occurrences of, of strings with uh, irregular intervals between strings more accurately and I want to, to measure or to check what time how much time passed between two strings in uh, milliseconds so as you can see uh, it's not just the milliseconds which are different it's also the seconds 
so we have like uh, seven seconds and somewhat less than seven here so if you want to to um, see this number in milliseconds we can either use a calculator or if you want to be a bit smarter we can use something like for example Excel this is uh, quite a uh, quite an old Excel it's uh, 2010 but uh, I'm sure the newer versions are just as uh, they work just the same way so let's say I um, I want to measure the time between this one this event and this event so I can copy this part control C for copy control V for paste here then this event control C and control V at another cell now you see the format here is quite odd and even if we change that to um, time format it still doesn't show us the milliseconds so um, if you want to see the milliseconds visually you can uh, format the cells select a costume category then find the uh, hour minute second format but add to it dot zero 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 and then it will show you the milliseconds now um, we can of course subtract this from this by uh, using a formula equals a1 minus b1 now this again is a uh, a human readable time format which is not what we want we can uh, use a number here but it's not it doesn't have enough decimal digits so we increase the accuracy here now the units of this thing is parts of day to translate that into milliseconds we have to uh, multiply this result by the number of milliseconds per day which is put that this in parentheses times 86,400 that's the number of milliseconds, sorry, that's the number of seconds per day times 1000. And here we have the actual result in milliseconds, 6787. Um, now you can, of course, you can uh, select a longer range of uh, timestamps and strings, put them in Excel or put them in a um, uh, plain text file and and parse that with uh, a Python code or whatever you want. Just be careful because, as you can see, we don't have the uh, the date here. So if we go past midnight between uh, two events, it may look like uh, time uh, moved backwards. It will be a negative value. So be careful about midnight, like gremlins. And um, but again, if if you understand this and the jitter and the inaccuracies, this is still a very useful tool. Someday you will, you will be very happy that you have that in your toolbox. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.